It was the shot heard around the UFC. Mark Hominick connecting with George Roop and a title fight. Gotta go there and prove it, and I believe I did that with my fist tonight. That was January. This is now. The press conference Mark had always dreamed of being a part of. This is the, like, this is the culmination of the last 15 years of my life. Come late Saturday night in massive Toronto, the pride of tiny Thamesford will get his chance to do what many consider next to impossible. Beat 18-1 and one, Jose Aldo. When he kicks you in the legs or anywhere else, you're in big trouble. Uh, I, I think that this is a very exciting fight and I'm very pumped for the co-main event. The experts, and there are many who believe themselves to be, have almost unanimously selected the Brazilian featherweight champ to not only beat Mark, but in convincing fashion. It's easy to understand why people are fascinated with Jose Aldo. His exciting and dominating fight styles have made him an attractive figure in the sport. Look him up on YouTube. He's everywhere and always laying it down on the other guy. He's got his game plan, I've got my game plan, and uh, we'll see who ends up winning. Even with 20 wins on his resume and a reputation for being excellent with his fists, Mark doesn't get nearly the exposure nor the respect that Aldo does. In mixed martial arts, though, that kind of stuff is earned through major opportunities like the one that presents itself at UFC 129. Being here in the home province, you know, it's, it's nice to be an underdog there with, going against one of the best in the world, pound for pound. UFC 58 against Eve Edwards, that was 5-1 to one underdog, went out there and finished him in the second round. So I've been in that situation before. Although the attacker versus Hominick the striker, will it be a mismatch or a more than worthy co-headliner? The only way to find out is to let them fight. We know what the champ is about. And it's scary, but potentially even scarier, not knowing fully what the challenger can do. It's both frightening and exhilarating, and has us all waiting to see if our Athlete of the Week can actually pull this off. Hey Mark, good luck.